Lizzie Bird, welcome back to Princess Peach Showtime. Today, we are having a rematch with every single boss fight in the game, as we have different challenges sort of in these portraits up here. Of course, last episode, we did all the bonuses of like collecting all the, or finding all the hidden ninjas in each level, but now we have these boss fight portraits to take on, which, like I said before, like boss fight rematches. We have Darko Boss, Disco Wing, and with it, we have defeat all the purple chicks before they escape, hit Disco Wing with spar Sparkle Chicks without missing, and then win the fight without taking damage. Uh, I'm guessing we can do all these one at a time if we wanted to, but I'll try to do them all in the same go. Oh. All right, well, I guess we can sort of skip the cutscene since we've already seen it before. I don't know if it lets me, okay, here it goes. Just wanna get right into the fight with this one, seeing how we've already sort of seen all that. So what was it again? Let me make sure. Defeat all the purple chicks before they escape, hit the Disco Wing, with sparkle chicks without missing. Okay. So, I don't see them right now. You're gonna turn around, and then I just hit you with one of those. Boom, no problem. Cause I don't know if that these are what they're talking about, but maybe? I don't know. Uh, are those the, the sparkle chicks? Are the little disco balls? That's where it's a little bit, um, odd, but. Let's try this again. Oh my. Okay, those are just platforms falling down, so I don't think I have to worry about that. I do think we'll be able to get through this one without taking damage fairly easily. Oh my, okay, we're over here. Not a problem. Okay, so, oh my, whoa, okay. Here you go, I'm just gonna jump over that, no problem. Are you gonna go over again? Nope, you're good. Okay, so, I wanna make sure that I don't miss, right? So if I could wait for this one to turn around and then boom, boom, I didn't miss, so that's good. And then that one. So like this one right here, this sparkle chick, I didn't get. So I don't know if that is gonna be a problem. It probably will be. So I gotta keep that in mind. But there's that done. We have one more hit we need to ha make happen here. So if I can just be careful with the platforms falling, oh my. Oh no, you're gonna make it flip around, aren't you? There we go, there we go. I'm ready for it. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. Okay, so yeah, this is where you charge up. Uh, got it. So just one more time now. Whoa. I mean, so far so good with the not getting hit part, right? Okay, you're gonna drop a couple more of these. We played a lot of them. Uh, there we go. And then when you're turning around over this way, boom, got you pretty good there. And then, oh my, trying to hit this stuff without missing again. And then turn around. Oh, gotcha. There we go. I hope that counts. Come on, come on, come on. And let's find out. That should at least be two of them because I definitely didn't miss anything but maybe it'll be the third one too. All right, so one, two, and three, we did it. Okay, so the all the purple chicks before they escape, we only had like three to deal with there, so that was perfect. And because of that, we actually get extra sparkles. Really cool. Um, So there's the first boss dealt with in that way, but we still have the rest of them to take on. So there's, I think, five bosses in total, one for each floor except for the fifth floor, but then it was like in the basement instead. So now we have this one up here, which was the, Fang, what was this called again? Light Fang. And with this one, we need to don't cause time to rewind, obtain eight sparkle pieces, and win the fight without taking damage. That sounds pretty doable. All right, let's go in. So what I'm pretty sure with this one is that if we avoid taking damage, it won't cause any rewind at all because the rewind is usually the punishment for taking damage. So I just, Oh wait, is that a rewind right there? Okay, let me replay real quick <laughs> because I sort of stepped out too soon. I think that was the rewind. So basically if we get caught at all, I think that's what causes it. But you can also see there's some like added sparkle chips now. So that's new. See, if I hide though, it still sends the clock back even though I didn't take damage, so that is different. So I probably just wanna take this really slow. There's no pressure to like get it down quickly, really. So we start here again. You're gonna look all the way to the right and then all the way back to the left. And then you hold there for a moment, you look to the right, 
and then back to the left, and then I go, 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 go. I hop up here, and then, oh, I get caught again. So I'm just trying to like learn his patterns a little bit, I guess. <laughs> it might take a couple of tries for sure. So once again, um, going through again, I'm gonna look to the right, and then all the way back to the left, and I go, 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 go. Now I'm over here. Now you're checking out over there, and then back to here, and then over there. Okay, oh, no way. Okay, I thought that would get me, but luckily it didn't, so we get to keep moving. That's our first sparkle chip too. So, for this one, whoa, watch it. Get out of here. <laughs> Just trying to pay attention again. So you're gonna look to the left, and then I go, I hit this thing, and that's gonna delay you to some degree. All right, and now I'm up here. I do know there's another sparkle chip to the left. So you're looking way over that way. I'm just gonna hang out up here. Way to the right. Way to the left. Got it, got it, got it. And then jump spin. Okay, that worked. Pretty good, pretty good. And now I can go down there and actually beat this thing up. So I wanna make the most out of that. And we got it. All right, so far so good. But things could fall apart at any time, so I just need to make sure we're staying on top of it as we head to the next section. And with this one, once again, pay attention to your pattern. Right now, you're just gonna look to the left, back to the right, and then you hang there for a while. Ooh, same deal here. Got it. Uh oh, uh oh. Ooh, now I gotta really move it because afterwards, yeah, it breaks that. So I see another sparkle chip here. How do we want to handle this one? Because you move in like a circular pattern. So if I go up like this, I should be fine. There we go, there we go. I don't see anything else around here, so I think we're gonna go around the corner. And another circular pattern. Or a, sort of this one's like a figure eight, I guess. Seems like it. So if I want to... Hmm. This one's actually really tricky then, isn't it? I would think so, if I don't wanna get caught by that, right? I'd wanna wait right here for a second. Got it, got it, got it, and then hit it. Oh, that was a close one, but we are able to get you, and that is gonna knock you out before I do that, though. I grab another sparkle chip, and then I gotta start working on this thing. And boom. This is a lot more of an involved fight when you are trying to really make sure you avoid the light. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Forces a whole different perspective here. But uh, what do we got going on in this one? I got the star chip over there. You look over there, you look over here. You look over there, and then you look over here, and then I move it and I jump up here. And then as soon as you do that, I know you're about to. Ah! Okay, I took some damage. That's unfortunate. Ah, oh, and you're gonna cause the rewind, aren't you? Oh, you didn't. Okay. No rewind, so that's good. Unfortunately, that does mean I'll have to replay it because I took damage, but everything else is fine. Uh, so you just move in a big circular pattern, so I wanna make sure I move right now. And then go, go, go. Uh, no, come on, that's not what I wanted. I guess I did move a little bit too much, because all I have to do is wait here. Yep, and then I get up this way, and then as soon as you're done, there. I grab this, I turn back around, we just need two more chips. So if I can find the other two, I see one there. So you're gonna do that again. Look back over here. You are on the hunt. Okay, jump over that stuff, get up here, hit this thing. That stuns you for a second so that maybe I could, ah, uh, whoa, no, come on, are you kidding? All right, well, unfortunately that means I gotta do the whole level again, even with the, the reset with that. So that's gonna make things a lot more complicated, but I basically made it to the end of besides that part. So I just basically have to do all that again and hope it goes a little bit better this time, but at least I got the uh, the chips. And that makes it easier because I don't have to worry about those this next time. All right, and there we go. We just get the obtain eight sparkle pieces. So a little bummed. This one's gonna be a little bit harder than I anticipated, but we'll just try again. We'll hop right back in there and give it another go. So I think this is the part I got stuck on before, but I just keep running after that. It's, it's not too big of a deal, obviously, now that I'm not trying to get the shard. So at least that's out of the way. This is taking me a good couple of tries, but now I just wait here, 
you're gonna swoop by me again, and I jump, jump up here, and you go by again, jump, and jump. Yeah, so much easier when I don't have to worry about the, the shards, but. Looks like you're looking over here, back over that way, back over here. This part's like stressful because I just, oh man. And then I hit this thing, the blind, there we go. And then you're gonna go for another one here in a moment, I think. Ah, oh, darn. Ah, oh, I was so close. I'm right there. I rushed it a little bit. I just didn't know what to expect. Okay, jumping over that one. And then you'll swipe at me there. And then I run, 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 run. Oh no, did it count? I don't know if it counted or not. I don't think it started rewinding. I guess we'll find out in just a second. But man, close call there for sure. All right, did I do it? It looks like I did it. Awesome, so that means we're up to 126 sparkles in total. Oh man, and we get to move on to the next boss fight, which will be just right up these stairs. That was definitely not an easy one. We find a way through, and next up is right over here, the very spooky one. Even the picture is scary. This is, of course, Projector Cat, which has us avoid, avoid being hit by the cat's paws or tail defeat the projector cat using only three mice and win the fight without taking damage. The first and the third one, both can be accomplished by just accomplishing, you know, don't take damage. So let's see if we can do it. Okay, so we wanna skip this again just for the sake of it. So only three mice. I forget how this one goes, but I guess in a little mouse here, we want to have that in the center, right? but this thing is gonna try to hit it back. If I can, oh, okay, restart. <laughs> I remember how this works now. I can hit the paw and it'll make it retract. So as long as I can make that happen, here comes little mouse again. So I just gotta go boom like that. And then yeah, just hit it over there. And then when you show up, yeah, okay. That worked pretty well. I wanna see what you're gonna get up to now. So I think you're going to, oh my. Oh yeah, you're gonna do the big slam, which I don't know the best way to avoid, but that seemed like it worked, so that's cool. Um, and that's the first phase done. So basically we need to do that, but obviously more complicated for these next two phases. All right, what do you got for me this time? Looks like mouse on the same side. Okay, hold on, watch it. I think that counted as me getting hit, unfortunately. But, uh, well, was it? Avoid being hit by the cat's, okay, definitely. So let me retry that because if I have to retry anyways, I might as well retry now, but I definitely got hit by that. Even if it didn't do damage, it definitely pushed me to the side. So one more time, hit you, get it there. And then this thing, I don't even wanna deal with this, so if we can just knock it out, then you're gonna have this crazy super slam, which maybe if I just stay over here, I'm trying to find the best strategy for this, but. Uh, okay, that doesn't hurt me, so that's good. Now I can just go for it again. So the first phase, super easy. If I can just sort of know what's coming up, maybe the remaining phases will be just as easy. All right, so, waiting for the mouse. Here it is. Gonna hit it over there, but then avoid that stuff. Luckily, I did. And then here comes the next one, and you might knock the bomb around. I guess you don't, huh? Just waiting for the pause then. Got it, and then get you out of here. And then another, uh, got it, and then, oh my. Only problem now is yeah, I need it back in the center. Okay, uh, okay, that, okay, that was silly. That was really silly. I'm trying to hit it, it just didn't reach. Okay, I think I got it this time, but we're about to find out. Here we go, so second phase completed. If I can avoid this. Oh. Okay, yeah, without getting hit, so that's good. It's just the third phase now. I need to find my way through. All right, there's that. So as soon as the mouse shows up, which will probably show up on the right side again, if I had to guess, but we'll see. No, nope. okay, left side. Got it. And then I just need to get over here and get rid of you. And as soon as it shows up on this next side, or over here, I guess. Gotcha. Just trying to keep the bomb, at least like on the little rug. I think that's fine. Okay, ooh, dodging that. But then, can I dodge this too? I don't even need to dodge, I just need to smack it away. Uh, and then, ooh, wait, 
Jump, jump, jump. Okay, I, I'm trying to jump and attack, but it just gets really silly sometimes. Oh, we were so close. Okay, I'm getting a whole lot closer to getting this done, I think. I just need to keep smacking away these paws and maybe something will work out. Okay, I'm gonna hit this a little bit over to the side. Hit you out of the way. Come on, oh, avoid that, please. I, oh, I did it, come on, are you serious? All right, let's just finish this here because I've at least done the other two things if I can avoid this. Oh, such a pain, but I guess it did technically hit me, whatever. Come on. I mean, by hit, I don't think it means do damage, it just means make contact. So it's a little frustrating because it's not a very, you know, open area. There's not a lot of room to move around. So it, it is what it is, but we'll see. All right, so yeah, I didn't get the, the first one, whatever. We'll hop right back in and we'll try to get it now, but I'm glad that I got the other two done because they were also difficult. Uh, but now I just have to worry about the one. Okay, I think this one got the job done. This one took me quite a while, so we'll have to wait and see, but I think I knocked out this cat for good. All right, so let's see, yep, there it is. I finally got it done. We can avoid being hit by the cat's paws or tail. That was actually more difficult than you might expect. So now with that one done, I should be able to head up to our next boss, and this is the final one on these main floors. I went to go to the basement. But I'm sure this won't be easy if we head up this way. We have uh, this guy right here. This is the Spotline, Dark Boss, Dark Old Boss Spotline. We have the Defeat Spotline with only striped orbs. Defeat Spotline with the nine or fewer returned orbs. And win the fight without taking damage. Let's give it a try. Okay, so we can skip this for sure. We've seen it all. But uh, yeah, just trying to keep these in mind. The striped orbs and nine or fewer returning orbs. I don't exactly remember how this fight goes. Okay, well those seem striped. They have a stripe going across them. Okay, uh, I don't exactly remember what we do with these, but if you try that again, right as you're about to attack, oh, something's about to happen here. Uh, oh yeah, okay, no wait, I remember this. You're gonna make everything reflective, and then you bounce this over like that. Oh, okay, so one thing, this is not a striped orb, so that does eliminate the first challenge from being completed, but that's okay. I'm just trying to figure out exactly how this one works. So this one was a striped one, so I can hit you with that, no problem. And then, whoa, okay, I get hit by that one. I've hit you with, what, two of them so far? So the idea is that I want to return only the orbs that are actually gonna hit you. So I can just, ooh, hit that back at you there. Oh, I see. Okay, good to know. Because right now all we're trying to do is re-familiarize ourselves with the fight so that we can really get everything done perfect. So this time I'm not expecting too much, but if you do that again. Ooh, okay, you're gonna do that. So this time, oh, I probably should have been up there, but I wasn't. So from here, Ah, oh, come on, really? They were slightly above? How could I have known? Okay, you're gonna do the whole reflective thing again. And, wow, okay, that's a that's a big beam. That's not what I thought it'd be. Here comes another one. That one was able to dodge. Those are not gonna be easy to deal with later. Okay, so if I do this, this at least guarantees a hit on you. And then that one, not gonna hit you. I guess I could've. Ah, I still have a chance, but oh well. Um, here comes another one. Hitting that right back at you. There you go. I think we're at like five or six hits now, but we haven't missed any of the hits, I'm pretty sure. So like, I think that's a big thing. Okay, you're gonna knock me back here. I am gonna try to get up this way and just hit this right back at you. Boom, there we go. That's gonna be the next phase done because I think it's three orbs per phase. So if we don't miss any orbs, we can at least get the one challenge done. I would hope that for this first try, we get at least one of the challenges figured out, but who knows. Come on. What do you got now? All these bouncing around. I don't want to hit those back. Okay, well, that doesn't help too much right now because it's not reflective, but now this is a bit of a difference maker. Can get up there, oh, okay. Uh, oh, we can see the real one because of the shadow underneath. 
So if I do this, boom, that gets you. And then three right there, or two right there. I need to get the three. Pay attention to the shadow. I see how this works. So you're not real. Oh my goodness. Because because you can see we're the real Princess Peach. We have like a little bright shadow back there. So does this guy. I get the idea. Okay, so what's gonna happen now? I'm gonna send a big blast out, which I'm going to wait for this to be right uh, here. And then boom, that gets you. Okay, so we do get the second challenge done. I'm pretty sure. Charge this up. And boom, we get ya. All right, so we'll see for ourselves back at the, the, the theater if this was actually the one challenge done. Okay, so it seems like it was. Defeat the spot line with nine or fewer returned orbs. So I just gotta keep working on this, win the fight without taking damage, and also defeat the spot line with only striped orbs. All right, so we're going for it again. This time, I mean, I know that I can hit these back, boom. Maybe we can make it go a little bit faster this time, because you charge. Because the first time I fought you, I didn't realize I could reflect these until this phase was over. So those were both striped. And then this is where you make things reflective. So the first two shots are sort of guaranteed to be uh, striped ones. This next attack, I'm pretty sure will not be striped. Yep, so I'm going to try to avoid that one. And then you're gonna fire the next one, I think. Whoa, over here. Okay, let me get over there fast then. Okay, so I think I want to, oh, ah! Not quite soon enough. Sometimes finding that angle is a, uh, Scary, come on, gotcha! That's three hits on you, we didn't take any damage, we hit you all with stripes, so that's really, really good. I'm not worried about missing shots this time, because we got that challenge done. So you're out of here, and now, what do we got next? This whole situation, I'm firing more. Oh, I got one there, boom! And then one is gonna be slightly overhead. Got it. So just, you know, doing this once already. Okay, oh yeah, I do remember this. We've gotta be careful because this stuff will bounce all over the place. I think if we hide down here though, we'll be okay. Yes, okay, and for this next one, it's down that way, so I gotta be really careful. But so far, no damage taken. Here we go, here we go. Uh, I don't need to worry about that. But I do need to worry about this. I don't even need to reflect it off of anything. That's another striped hit. Okay, we're going into the last phase. Still with no damage taken. Because the one bit of damage we took was pretty early on. So if we can just repeat what we did last time, we'll be fine. Because he's gonna go ahead and make his duplicate, right? Okay, not quite a way. But I can't hit those in the right direction anyways. Yep, here it goes. Is this the real one we're under right now? That's the duplicate. Because he uses his reflection to make it. Interesting. And then boom, that should hit you directly. And it looks like the real one. Oh, I wonder if I could have gotten like a two for one hit there. Interesting. Maybe in the boss fight a little early. Because now it's just me and you, which we hide in this side and then we gotta wait for the real one to show up and hide on the other side. I got this boss fight right in my noggin. I think we're fine. Well, let's see, I might get hit at this last moment, but even if I do, as long as I get hit, hit back one of the striped ones to hit you, I'm happy about that. Okay, that's not the striped one, so I will ignore that. That's a striped one, so right there, boom, we got you again, but this time hitting only the striped balls and also not taking any damage. That was wonderful. So with two more right there, you can see we got get all the way to 132 in total. We get another boss fully defeated. That's awesome. So really happy that that turned out well, especially since the previous boss was such a challenge for me. If we run all the way over here to the uh, to the elevator, we wanna go of course to the basement floor so that we can take on our last boss rematch, which will of course be against Great Purcell, the final boss. I don't know what challenges will go on here, but I'm sure it won't be easy. Uh, we'll find out though. Right over here, the Grape rematch. It's showtime, Grape. Avoid defeating any dancers. Win the battle against Grape without taking damage. And win the battle against Grape with the, the Great, or Grape the Great without taking damage. So, okay, that doesn't seem too bad, right? Avoid defeating any dancers is like the only unique one here. And then it's just getting through 
both phases without taking damage. I got really confused there for a moment, but I hope we can handle it. Well, here we go again. I'm going to skip whatever cutscenes it lets me. So these dancers, we don't want to hit. Okay, that might be easier said than done, but I will just try my best to get through that part. And if we take damage, we take damage. You know, at the least, since I've only, you know, fought this boss once and I just took damage, yeah. We gotta be careful of the sparklers. Oh no, sorry. Is it defeating any of the dancers? I can hit them a couple of times, just don't defeat them. Oh my. Uh, so yeah, I might take some damage on this first time through, ow, as I'm trying to figure out how to do this, especially as I'm trying to squeeze in between the dancers. But if I can get this out of the way first and then defeat the, you know, dancers on my next try when I'm just trying to avoid taking damage, that's fine too, right? There we go. I think we did it, phase one. But it's still great. It's not great the great yet. All right, here we go again. There we go. Just gotta work with these openings a little bit, but avoid the flames. Move over here as soon as I can. And whoa, fire off again. Okay, gotta move, gotta move. Ah, oh, I wasn't fast enough. Oh, did I defeat a dancer? No, I didn't, I didn't. There's like sort of an opening here. Okay, go under, fire like this. That's pretty good, the train's coming in though. It's a big distraction for that. Yep, I'm able to avoid the train. Go back under, keep firing. Okay, uh, that sounds so bad, right? Okay, I gotta dodge all the falling blocks though. Come on. Let's try to squeeze under there. Got it. Trying to be very careful with my movements here, but I think we have it here too. Giant present, oh man. That was huge. Keep it going, keep it going. Boom, I got you again. Now what? The third dancing phase, I would imagine. Okay, keep it going. Oh, no way, I definitely got the dancer there. So hitting the dancer three times knocks it out. This is tough. This is not an easy thing to get done. Okay, so I've taken a bunch of damage this time too, but I'm definitely, oh no, oh. I'm definitely not hitting any of the dancers, so that's at least good. So if I could just get through this phase, that'd be fantastic, because I'm tired of trying to avoid the dancers. Okay, I gotta dodge this. It's basically impossible to get hits in here while also avoiding the sparkles, or the fireworks, whatever they are. At least in my experience, you can't get a ton of hits in there. Okay, they're gonna move like this, and then the presence coming, and the presence can be a bit of a pain. As soon as you avoid one, guess what happens? Another one shows up. Finally got you, though. So I don't think any dancers were defeated that time. Boom. We can start hitting you with this move, and I don't think there's any way to really mess this part up, so that's at least good. And it seems like it's it, but that's just phase one. Then we'll do Grape the Great. Okay, now this is Grape the Great. So my only goal here, we I don't think there's gonna be any more dancers popping up. We just have to try to win this without taking any damage. And really just, you know, how we fight this, of course, is we just focus on the mask. So if I can just avoid all the other attacks coming in, that'd be cool. This was such a cool fight though. I do like this one a lot. It really does remind me a lot of like different Kirby games. I feel like this game in a, in a lot of ways reminds me of Kirby games, but especially this fight. Okay, there we go. We get this first phase pretty well. We get a full health refill, so it definitely takes it as like a whole new thing. Um, gonna blast all those at me, but I can dodge them. Very cool, and I can keep playing on damage while that's happening. I'm gonna try to block it. I definitely need to avoid this. However, I can, wow. Okay, so one that's being formed, don't mess around. Just try to move out of the way. Don't try to get like an extra attack in or something, especially with these two. But luckily, I should just be able to move out of here like that and then back to hitting it. Come on. Okay, don't mess around. Just try to get out of there. And then, oh, another one, another one, another one. Okay, dodged it. That's good. Just trying to get in every ounce of this attack. There we go, second phase done. But we don't give up there. We keep going. All right. Okay, what do I do to dodge this stuff? It looks like it just goes straight up. So if I could just wait for that and then go over. There we go, excellent. Come on, come on. 
That's another good hit. Might be able to get one more in, but I gotta be careful of all this. So it's gonna start over there and then I just sort of follow it. There's like a clear rotation going on. There we go. And I'm just trying to blast you away as fast as I can. Wow, um, and this is gonna go up again, so I just dodged that there. Nice. I gotta be careful, because more's coming in, but I'm able to break you. Come on, is that it? I think that's it. I sure hope so. It seems like it. So that might mean that we got two out of the three challenges done on this run through here. We've seen all this before. It's so cool, but. Oh, I gotta press the button, oops, okay. After we do this, so the boss should be defeated. Such a spectacle. All right, so Grape the Great is defeated without any damage taken as far as I saw, and all those dancers were unscathed. So hopefully, can I skip this part? Looks like I can't skip it, but uh, that should be the end of that challenge. I just have to go back in for the first phase again. But we'll, we'll be able to confirm in a moment. All right, two of them done. Avoid defeating any dancers and win the battle against Grape the Great without taking damage. So we just need to battle the normal Grape the first phase without taking damage again, and we'll be good. We'll be in the clear. So this time I'll be really careful with like when I decide to take damage and stuff or when I decide to do damage because you know these fireworks can definitely get us if we're not careful. But now that I can just blast through the dancers that I can keep firing, it definitely makes the whole thing easier because I was focused on dodging the dancers and everything, which obviously they can take a good amount of hits, but they do eventually get knocked out still. So I'm just gonna keep on laying on that damage just like that. Move out of the way, Mr. Dancer. There we go, move up here. Just we're gonna avoid the presence a little bit. There we go, we already got this first part done. That wasn't so bad. All right, back to it. Just gonna try to fire at you like this. Very cool, this is where more of the fireworks come in though, and I don't wanna waste any time trying to avoid them. Just once again, I can just blast through the dancers to get a couple of extra hits in if I can, or not. So just move it, move it, move it, move it. And then get over here, I might be able to sink in a few more. There we go, past the dancers. Now we're doing something. And then this is where the, tr the train comes in, I think. Yep. So I just wanna make sure that once I'm up here. Yep, I just do that a little bit. Very cool, very cool. I think that once I, okay, yeah, the dancers eventually come in again, but they, it does take some time. Okay, there we go, that phase is done too. I think that means we have one more phase here, but of course it's the hardest one. So we'll have to see how it goes. Okay, hit you like that as much as we can. Watch out for the flames. Oh, darn. See, that's what, I can't be greedy with it. I can't just try to get a couple of extra hits and end it sooner because that's exactly where I get hit. Oh, I got it, I think. There we go, with that last train section, I was able to finish her off without taking any damage in this first phase. So now, I just have to recomplete the entire fight. So, I'll be back once I do that, but then every boss challenge should be finished up. All right, so with that done, we have finally done it. 135 sparkles in total and every boss fight rematched and defeated with the challenges completed. Congratulations, you've collected all of the sparkle gems. Someone told me that the shop has a special dress. We should take a look. All right, so yeah, it looks like that means that we are all finished with the game. If we go to the plays over here, you can see for yourselves, we got everything done here. This is uh, Sparkle Theater BF. We got even all the ninjas and the gold medal. Same thing here, a 1F, 2F, 3F, 4F, and 5F. So really cool to get all that done. Let's go to the shop and see what our brand new reward is. Really cool that we are getting rewarded for it. Um, we just seem to go back up the one up to the shop. And we should have quite a few sparkles to spend on whatever we need to spend it on, so that's pretty cool. And here we are. So I just wanna run over here real fast and chat with you two. Oh wait, there's, was there normally two of them? Hey Peach, welcome. I'm so relieved that Grape is gone. 
can, we cannot express, or words cannot express my gratitude. Mm. Might I trouble you for help with one more thing? You see, I'd like to use the power of sparkle gems to decorate the theater. Mm. Would you help me decorate so we can delight the visitors? Sure, what is this about? Whoa, so we can use sparkle gems to just like add a little decorations. So we have the balloon garland, Pillar Ribbons, Stella Statue, Bell F, Bell 2F. Okay, so let's go ahead and get these. We have enough sparkles to get everything. So first things first, we have the balloons here. Um, Wait, what did it say here? It's a Balloon Garland 1F. Okay, so we get those there. Um, We got the Pillar Ribbons 1F for 10. The Stella Statue 1F, whoa, cool. Giant Golden Stella Statue, the Bell 2F. Down this way, we have the Pillar Ribbons 2F. The Flower Vases 2F. The Chandelier 3F. Pillar Ribbons 3F. And then down this way a little bit more, we have the Tapestries 3F. And then for 4F, we have the Beaded Decor. Whoa. The Pillar Ribbons. And then finally, the Lamps. And then down here we have for either 4 or 5. Yeah, okay. I was gonna say 4 or 5 are the basement. We have the Sparkle Light. And then pillar ribbons. And then lastly, for our last 10 sparkles, the sparkle statues. All right, we spent every sparkle decorating the uh, entire theater. We'll have to go check that out for sure. You've done all the decorations, thank you. Visitors are just delighted to see sparkle theater shining more than it ever has. Okay, so with that done, I guess we'll go to the shop over here too and uh, see what's available. Welcome, who are you shopping for for Princess Peach? We have a bunch of stuff, whoa! I hope we have enough for everything, I think we do. So the first thing is gonna be the special ninja dress. Wow. And we'll take a look at everything after we get it purchased, so there's the special ninja dress. Uh, and then if we back up, next up we have the special cowgirl dress. Very cool. All the horses on there. We have the special patisserie dress. Yes. And for the rest of this row, we got the special dashing thief dress. Nice. That one's really cool how it's like just like a city. Um, special figure skater dress. Lovely. Very snowy. The special detective dress, I like the different color scheme. The special mighty dress, ooh, the purple with the planets, that's very cool. The special mermaid dress. Nice. And then down this way, have quite a lot more. We got the special kung fu dress. Whoa, the dragon. So cool. The special, or no, just the radiant dress. Doesn't have the same blue to it, but still very nice. Uh, the grape dress. Whoa. The special dress here. Whoa, that one has the blue to it. And then that's all of them. That's all of the dresses purchased. And now we can switch over to uh, you here, Stella and we can try to get some more of the ribbons. We have a radiant ribbon. It has like a nice gradient to it. Is it radiant or gradient? It was radiant, but it has a nice gradient. We got the grape ribbon. And then lastly, we have the special ribbon. All right, well, looking really good there. As you can see, that's everything purchased in the dress. So if we were to talk to you, or in, in the shop, that's all the dresses purchased in the shop. If I were to talk to you again, do you see anything more? Marvelous, you bought everything. Thank you so, so much. These outfits are theater exclusives. I hope you enjoy them thoroughly. All right, so with that being said, we'll do one last walkthrough through through the theater, just like this. I wish we could go outside though, still can't. But we can you know, do a little walkthrough through the theater and see you know, the different things going on here, either the pillars or the balloons up top or the giant sparkle, or not sparkle, but um, Stella statue. Then we can head up here and just check out all the other fixtures that we purchased for each floor. So let's see what's going on up on this side. Looking pretty good. It's mostly, you know, the bell up top and the pillars and there's some flower pots to the side. Very nice. Let's go up to floor three now. Let's jump up here. And more of the same, I think, just different little decorations. But yeah, I wasn't expecting there to be decorations. That's pretty cool. This one, the pillars, the little um, tapestries, as well as the giant chandelier up there. Very cool. And then we will head up to the fourth floor. Right up this way. And the 
fourth floor has. What do you know? <laughs> Even more stuff. In this one, we got the uh, the beads and the pillar and the lamps. Very cool. And then lastly, the fifth floor, which is the most exciting one because it has like the view of the the fireworks and everything. But it also has its own set of decorations. It has, in just a moment, we'll see the pillars, the little uh, statues there, and at the top here, like a very fancy little radiant sparkle chandelier kind of thing. So there we go. We've done it. We've 100% completed Princess Peach Showtime. And to finish it off, I figure we'll take one last look at every single thing. Make sure I get like a good like full turnaround of it. So we have the polka dot dress here, the horizontal stripes dress, nice. the vertical stripes dress. Yes. She's excited about all of them. We have the two tone dress. Nice. This one's like a little bit brighter on the top than it is the bottom. The gradient dress. The starry dress, with all the stars across. The heart dress. And then over here in extra, we got the geometric dress with the zigzags. The checker dress. Makes me want to go on a picnic. Uh, the scaly dress, whoa. All the triangles, I guess, are supposed to represent scales. The sword fighter dress with the roses. Looks really good. And then over here, we have the special sword fighter dress. I guess maybe for completing all of the sword fighter related things. So like this one has like the roses, but also like the thorn vines with them. The ninja dress yes. with the lotus flowers and everything. And then we got the special ninja dress where it's like, like a cool pattern. And then we have the cowgirl dress with like the cow pattern. Nice. So cool. And then the special cowgirl dress has like this horse yes. pattern. Very cool. The patisserie dress, fruits and cake all over. And then the special patisserie dress has a bunch of cookies. Very cool. And then the dashing thief dress has all the gems that a thief could ever wish to steal, as well as the special da dashing thief dress has the city that the thief probably, you know, lives in and steals things from. We got the figure skater dress with the cool snowflake pattern on the bottom and the special figure skater dress, which has it sprinkling down all over. Then we get the detective dress with the magnifying glasses. Bunch of mystery there. And then changes to the, to the like brown color scheme for the special detective dress. So cool. The mighty dress has all the alien spaceships. And the special mighty dress has all of the planets in a purple color scheme. The mermaid dress has like the waves of the ocean. And then the special mermaid dress has all the music from the mermaid song. And then the Kung Fu dress has these cool little clouds here. And then the special Kung Fu dress, one of my favorites. This really cool dragon, a full red color scheme. Really nice. And then the disco dress for defeating Disco Wing. The Fang dress for defeating Fang. I like the green and purple. The projector dress for defeating the projector. Yellow and purple. The spotlight dress for defeating the spotlight. And then the radiant dress, I think probably for defeating Great or becoming Radiant Peach. So bright and sparkly. Uh, we got the grape dress here for defeating grape. Yes. And then the sparkle dress. Yay. Probably forgetting all the sparkles. The special dress too. And this Yay. one's so cool because it looks like, yeah, the colors are actively changing in it. You can see they get really bright and then they go back to their cooler colors. That's so cool. And then the secret dress. Aww. I don't know, I guess this one might be all the secret ninjas. It might just be something else. <laughs> It has a bunch of thieves on there with all sorts of different emotions. They're adorable. So I like that a lot. We were able to showcase every single dress. And now same thing for ribbon. We have the regular ribbon here, of course, but then we have the red ribbon, which a lot a lot of these uh, don't really have too much of like a detail to them. They're just different colors. We got the blue ribbon, yellow ribbon. Down here we have orange, lime ribbon, Light blue ribbon. Okay, I'm, I'm switching a little too soon. Sorry about that. But uh, the black ribbon, the sword fighter ribbon. Is this one we get for, I guess, you know, doing sword fighter missions. Multicolored sword fighter ribbon. The blue and red. Very cool. The, the ninja ribbon. Got the green color there. The multicolored ninja ribbon with the green and gray. The cowgirl ribbon with that sort of like brown ish color, more of like a tan. The multicolored cowgirl ribbon with the blue as well. The patisserie ribbon. And the multicolored patisserie ribbon. 
down here we have the Dashing Thief ribbon. This like dark gray. The multicolored Dashing Thief ribbon is a gray and red. The figure skater ribbon has that like snowflake blue to it. The multicolored figure skater ribbon has the blue and white. I guess it's like a blue and a lighter blue. Detective ribbon has the same like brown coloring. Uh, and then the multicolored detective ribbon, same deal. Uh, the mighty ribbon with that like mighty red, very strong striking color. And the multicolored re mighty ribbon combines the red and blue, very striking. Mermaid ribbon, and then the multicolored mermaid ribbon. We're almost there, we almost got through them. The Kung Fu Ribbon. That like darker purple and the multi multicolored Kung Fu Ribbon. And then the fancy special ones, we've got the Radiant Ribbon for Radiant Peach. The Grape Ribbon. The Sparkle Ribbon. And then lastly, the Special Ribbon. So cool. What's interesting is that, I guess Stella doesn't have their own little colors for the bosses or anything. But that's fine. We got quite the fantastic combo going on here. We're both looking really special, but there's still more things to do. As you can see here in the album, we have different pictures that we unlocked along the way. So I figured we'll take a quick look at all these. Most of these are just little screenshots from our adventure, but still nice little spot down memory lane. We got like cowgirl peach here, catching up with the train, patisserie peach making some delectable desserts. We got thief peach stealing back the golden statue. We got Figure Skater Peach putting on a show, Detective Peach solving the crimes, and Mighty Peach fighting off the aliens. Mermaid Peach, of course, performing her songs, and then Kung Fu Peach saving the old dojo. And then we had all the boss fights going against all these formidable foes. So cool, these are a lot of cool screenshots. And then the little high five with Stella, that's so cute, and that's all of them. So that's the full album right there. Very good to see all that. And then we have the collection, which I don't know what's in here. Ensembles? Oh, okay, this is interesting too. So this has like its own thing. Peach dress, Peach's favorite formal dress. Yes. Cool, uh, and we can preview it? Whoa, and I guess with this we could do like a whole bunch of stuff, but. Yes. It's just sort of like a little bit more of a zoom in. We also have the Sword Fighter Peach, a chic ensemble that is perfect for elegant sword play. Nice. nice. And then we have the Ninja Peach, an ensemble that instills in the wearer an attunement to ninja techniques. Ha. Cowgirl Peach, this ensemble comes complete with a rope and a 10 gallon hat. Woo. The Patisserie Peach, a cute checkered ensemble that is all the rage among bakers. Dashing Thief Peach, a superbly sleek ensemble outfitted with a mask and cape. Oh wait. Got it. The Figure Skater Peach, a breezy ensemble that enables the wearer to perform flawlessly. Brilliant. Detective Peach, an ensemble for the most astute and those dedicated to justice. <laughs> Mighty Peach, a power suit that increases the wearer's strength 30 fold. Ha. Wow. Mermaid Peach, an elegant ensemble that allows the wearer to glide through water with grace and ease. Woo. The Kung Fu Peach, a Kung Fu ensemble that increases the wearer's fluidity and strength. Yeah. Radiant Peach, a mythical dress imbued with sparkle. Uh -huh. And then lastly, Super Radiant Peach, the ultimate dress imbued with maximum sparkle. So cool. You can really see the differences here between these two. Like the longer dress and everything and the larger crown. So that was really cool. We have music here as well, which obviously I'm not gonna sit here and listen to all the music, but we could just like select them all just so that the exclamation mark goes away. But you know, all the songs, if you wanted to listen to one here, you know, very convenient to do that in this menu, but I just wanna be able to make sure that they're all marked. And there's a lot of music in this game. There was a lot of unique levels that had their own songs to them, 53 in total, but that was pretty cool. Um, we can back out here and go to the movies too, and it's sort of the same deal. Um, these are all movies we've seen before, but if we were to just go through them, it's 18 in total. All the different cutscenes that you can see in the game. So yeah, very, very cool. I think that shows that we are all wrapped up with the game. I don't know if there's anything cool in the settings menu, but I, I, it doesn't seem like it. So yeah, let's go back to the title screen. So that was 
everything to experience in Princess Peach Showtime. I think we can thoroughly say that we 100% completed the game, even all of the post-game bonus challenges, either be finding all the secret ninjas or defeating the boss fights with the extra challenges. We got it all done. This was a super pleasant game. I'm glad that I was able to explore it with you guys and stay tuned because we're gonna be playing plenty of new games as they come out. Next up, I think is going to be the new Paper Mario remake, the Paper Mario Thousand Year Doors. So stay tuned for that next month. And plenty of other things, Luigi's Mansion 2 is getting remade as well. We'll be playing that one. There's plenty of things on the way. So with that being said, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Princess Peach Showtime. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.